Good morning, 7STE. Today, we will be discussing about Quarter 3, Module 7, Advocacy in Solving Environmental Problems and Issues. Objectives, conduct an advocacy in solving environmental problems and issues. At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Define advocacy. 2. Discuss how to advocate environmental awareness. 3. Enumerate the basic steps in developing an environmental advocacy campaign. 4. Develop a simple environmental advocacy campaign plan. And 5. Create a slogan that shows advocacy in solving environmental problems and issues. What I know. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. See pages 2 to 3 of quarter 3, module 7. What's in? In the previous module, you have learned that humans may impact the environment in a positive or negative way. The lists below are all human impacts on the environment. Write P if it is beneficial for the environment. Write N if it is harmful. Number 1. Creating environmental protection laws. 2. Deforestation of protected areas in the Philippines. 3. Establishing wildlife preserves and parks. 4. Overconsumption of energy resources. 5. Overexploitation or overharvesting of natural resources. 6. Pollution of bodies of water. 7. Recycling trash materials into usable products. And 8. Reforestation of barren woodlands. So let us answer what's in. Number 1. Creating environmental protection laws is beneficial for the environment. 2. Deforestation of protected areas in the Philippines is harmful to the environment. 3. Establishing wildlife preserves and parks is beneficial. 4. Overconsumption of energy resources is harmful. 5. Overexploitation or overharvesting of natural resources is harmful. 6. Pollution of bodies of water, of course, is harmful for the environment. 7. Recycling trash materials into usable products is beneficial for the environment. And last one, reforestation of barren woodlands is uh, beneficial for the environment. What's new? Read the quote below by Wangari Maatay, a Kenyan social, environmental, and political activist and the first African woman to win the Nobel Prize. Then, answer the questions below. You cannot protect the environment unless you empower people. You inform them and you help them understand that these resources are their own, that they must protect them. Guide questions number one. According to Wangari Maatay, how can you protect the environment? And two, how can you convince people to protect the environment? Here are the answers for our guide questions. Number one, according to Wangari Maatay, how can you protect the environment? You can protect the environment by empowering people and by informing them. If people are informed about the different problems and issues faced by our environment, then they will tend to do some form of solution about it. 2. How can you convince people to protect the environment? You can convince people to protect the environment through leading by example. Let us now discuss advocacy in solving environmental problems and issues. The word advocacy comes from the Latin advocare and plainly means to call out for support. Advocacy is additionally defined as identifying a problem, finding a solution to that problem, and building support for acting on both the problem and the solution. Advocacy is an activity by an individual or group that aims to influence decisions within political, economic, and social institutions. One of its objectives must be raising the public's awareness about a certain issue. 
Advocacy is a social change process affecting attitudes, social relationships, and power relations, which reinforces a civilized society. Advocacy means taking action to create change. Advocates organize themselves to take steps to tackle an issue. Advocacy needs to have efforts coordination, strategic thinking, information, communication, outreach, and mobilization to fulfill its goals. In order to conduct an advocacy in solving environmental problems and issues, we must understand the vulnerability of our environment and the significance of its protection. Advocating environmental awareness is a way to become an environmental steward and participate in creating a brighter future for all of us. Environment plays an important role in healthy living and the existence of life on planet Earth. Earth is a home for different living species and we are all dependent on the environment for food, air, water, and other needs. Therefore, it is important for every individual to save and protect our environment. What is environmental awareness? We must first understand the environmentalist movement if we are to define environmental awareness. Environmentalism is an idea that implies the need and the responsibility of humans to preserve, protect, and respect the natural world from its human cause problems. Environmentalism is a movement and ideology that aims to reduce the impact of human activities on the earth and its various inhabitants. Environmental awareness is a vital part of the movement's success. We can start correcting the problems that endanger our physical environment by educating our family and friends that it is delicate and essential for our survival. How to Advocate Environmental Awareness A comprehensive understanding of environmental problems and issues is required before you can begin promoting environmental awareness in your community. So, before you can advocate for environmental awareness, you must have a thorough knowledge about the different problems and issues affecting Mother Nature. So, how do you do this? Read books and other references Keep abreast on environmental news and learn about the matters affecting your own community. It is much easier to discuss to others about the environment if you've already taken the time to inform yourself. So, if you are well informed about the different environmental problems and issues, then it would be easier for you to tell and share it to others. There are many resources available to stimulate environmental awareness and education. So these are the following. Group learning in school, books, articles, videos, brochures, informational and inspirational seminars, and online courses. So these are just some numerous tools that can get you engaged in advocating the environment. A good course of action that guarantees your continuous involvement in an environmental awareness advocacy is to choose an environmental issue that strikes you as the most important. The number of environmental issues seems infinite or too many. And while they are all critical or important, it's easy to be astounded. Try selecting one issue to concentrate on at a time and you will soon see that all environmental issues are interconnected and will find your forte of interest. Choosing one environmental issue will allow you to decide which area you want to work on first. Through this decision to go after one environmental issue, you will gain a sense of purpose. With purpose, we can better focus on what we want to accomplish. This purpose gives us drive to keep pushing. 
Here are 25 of the most important environmental concerns that you must keep an eye on today. Number 1, air pollution. 2, water pollution. 3, soil and land pollution. 4, climate change. 5, global warming. 6, deforestation and logging. 7, increased carbon footprint. 8, genetic modification. 9, effect on marine life. 10, public health issues, 11, overpopulation, 12, loss of biodiversity, 13, household and industrial waste, 14, ozone layer depletion, 15, mining, 16, natural resource depletion, 17, natural disasters, 18, nuclear waste, 19, loss of endangered species, 20, acid rain, 21. Agricultural Pollution 22. Light and Noise Pollution 23. Urban Sprawl 24. Disposal of Medical Waste and 25. Littering and Landfills The list of issues surrounding our environment go on, but there are three major ones that affect the majority of them overall. The first is Global Warming and Climate Change. The second is water pollution and ocean acidification, and the third is the loss of biodiversity. After you've selected an environmental issue and informed yourself about it, involve your family, friends, and the community in a discussion about the issue's urgency and significance. By involving your community in the conversation, you are not only advocating environmental awareness, but you may also find chances to contribute to joint projects or to get involved in other related causes. Once you are knowledgeable in environmental issues, you can use that information to start helpful projects in your home and or in your community. So here are some possible project ideas that you can do in your community. So first one, walk or ride your bike as an alternative to going to school, riding a jeepney or tricycle to lessen greenhouse gas emissions. Transportation adds to the atmospheric carbon dioxide. Number two, think about investing in suitable technology like clean power, solar or wind. If not for your home, then maybe for a barangay center. This supports a switch to clean and renewable energy. Number three, buy reusable products such as reusable cups, reusable bags, and glass bottles. Avoid purchasing disposable goods such as plastic bags and plastic bottles. Number four, start recycling and composting at home, which will help to lessen our waste production. And number five, support local farmers and buy organic and pesticide-free food whenever possible. You can also start your own barangay garden. Once you have selected your cause and have started a personal or community project, share it with others. Get your family, friends, neighbor, or even your local government involved. It is easier and more efficient to spread environmental consciousness and start a local project if you join forces with others in your community. Cooperation with your community can lead to better outcomes for a group and each individual in the group than would be achievable through entirely private efforts. Advocating environmental awareness is a critical part of being an environmental steward. Environmental stewardship is the responsible use and protection of the natural environment through conservation and sustainable practices to enhance ecosystem resilience and human well-being. Start participating in the change and teach your community what is needed to build a sustainable future. After identifying, analyzing, and researching the environmental problem or issue that you want to focus on, it is time to develop an advocacy campaign. You need to be strategic 
in how you undertake an advocacy campaign if you want to be successful in your environmental advocacy work. That organizing relies heavily on your ability to set the best possible plan. There is no standardized plan for every advocacy campaign, but you can follow a series of steps that have the kind of flexibility you will need to modify your campaign plan to your goals. Here are five basic steps in developing an environmental advocacy campaign. Number one, set a specific goal. With an environmental advocacy campaign, setting a clear goal can be overwhelming. Advocacy is about legislating change. While solving several environmental issues and problems is a motivating goal, it is not the kind of target you can create a plan to accomplish. You need to be specific. Your goals need to be as specific as possible because otherwise they won't give you enough direction to follow through. The best goals for advocacy campaigns follow the SMART rule. S. Specific M. Measurable A. Actionable R. Realistic and T. Time-bound So when we say specific, set real numbers with real deadlines. Measurable, make sure your goal is trackable. A. Attainable, work towards a goal that is challenging but possible. R. Realistic, be honest with yourself, you know what you and your team are capable of. And T. Time-bound, give yourself a deadline. Step number two, define your message clearly. Once you have set your SMART goal, get ready to explain your message. Your message is what persuades people to your campaign. A good advocacy campaign has a fundamental message, and how you present that message determines how far it spreads. Potential supporters need to know what your environmental advocacy campaign is about. So once you've resolved on a focused message, it's time to share it extensively. So sharing your advocacy campaign message is easier because of social media. Step 3. Create a team. If you already have a SMART goal and your message, you likely have some team members within reach. Your family, friends, and neighbors could be your team members. But before you start, you need to make sure that you have a team that can collaborate and represent all the demands of your environmental advocacy campaign. Good teamwork is essential in all organizations. It signifies that people are working towards a shared purpose and common goals and, in so doing, they are sharing their varied skills in complementary roles and in cooperation with each other. Step 4. Lay out a timeline. The most successful advocacy campaigns are those that are planned well in advance. A strict timeline can keep these campaigns on track to meet their objectives, with your team steadfastly in control of the timetable. Deadlines help us to collaborate toward achieving a shared goal and to keep complex multi-stage projects on track, to set expectations. Deadlines make clear what we're expected to deliver and when. This means that we can take control of our work free of confusion. Step 5. Develop your communications and activities. Step 5 is essential to implement the excellent work you have done in steps 1 to 4. You need a way of directing all of your planning into effective action and that is through communications and activities. You could send out an online petition, have volunteers call members of the barangay, or host a barangay hall-style meeting to talk about the issue or problem. Making people aware of a certain issue ensures that people will attempt some form of a solution. Implementation is one of the most important steps in developing an environmental advocacy campaign. Without it, the vision captured in the plan has no chance of becoming a reality. 
Let us now take a look at five effective environmental advocacy examples. Number one, educate people at school. If your classmates and teachers are informed about a particular problem, mobilizing them to take part in solving the issue is possible. There are many ways to do this, one of which is by preparing a documentary of how the problem affects the people in the community. Number two, contact and encourage an elected official. If the leader of the community knows that an issue is important to the residents, then that knowledge can be translated into actionable change. Elected officials do not have much time to deal with every issue that comes their way, so they will generally spend their time working on issues that are important to their constituents. Asking for something specific is often the most effective way to get an elected official's attention. Your objective is to encourage someone in the office to think for more than a few minutes about the issues that you have brought to his or her attention. Making a clear and concise ask helps you to achieve that goal. Number three, volunteering to help solve environmental issues. Volunteering for a local group is important to raise awareness so that people will attempt some form of a solution. Volunteering allows you to connect to your community and make it a better place. And volunteering is a two-way street. It can benefit you and your family as much as the cause you choose to help. Dedicating your time as a volunteer helps you make new friends, expand your network, and boost your social skills. Number four, educate the larger community. Letting the entire community know about a certain problem can be done by posting flyers around the community. Informing more people about an issue is more likely to lead to permanent change. Number five, hold a rally. If a big crowd of people rally for an issue, more people will notice of the problem. The media could be contacted to cover the rally so that a larger group of people will have an interest in it. A rally is used to draw attention to the issue through public participation and through media coverage. If there is a small turnout but the media is there, the issue will be reported on, the facts of the issue will be shared, and the public will be educated about it. Getting other people to see that some individuals care genuinely about an environmental issue or problem is the most important aspect of advocacy. Getting more people informed of an issue and getting them to become a supporter for change will have exceptionally powerful long-term results. Every person who chooses to become an environmental advocate is a small but immensely valuable part in the machine of change. If everyone makes a small attempt to advocate for an environmental issue such as pollution, global warming or climate change, it is possible to both create awareness of a problem and generate solutions. Let us now answer the different activities in what's more. Independent activity 1, let's conceptualize. Construct a concept map to explain the meaning of advocacy. Write four keywords or phrases associated with advocacy. Explain how each word phrase is related to it. Use the graphic organizer below. So, write four keywords related to advocacy and then explain how each of this keyword or phrase is related to it. Independent activity 1 will be graded based on these rubrics. The perfect score is 10 points. Next, Independent Assessment 1, it's your choice. Identify what term is being described. Choose from the list of words below. So the choices are advocacy, environmental awareness, environmentalism, family and friends, informed self, and stewardship. 
Number one, it is an idea that implies the need and the responsibility of humans to preserve, protect, and respect the natural world from its human caused problems. Two, it is a vital part of the environmentalist movement. Three, its objective is to raise public awareness about a particular issue. Four, this must be done before you can begin promoting environmental awareness. And five, educating these people is a good start to promote environmental awareness. Independent Activity 2, Unscramble Me. Unscramble the following jumbled letters to form 10 out of the 25 most important environmental concerns that you must keep an eye on today. Clues are given for each item. So for number one, it is created by different gases and poisons discharged by burning fossil fuels. Two, it is due to liquid waste from industrial and agricultural activities. Three, it has different destructive impacts that include the melting of polar ice, change in seasons, and change in the general climate situation. Four, it is due to burning of fossil fuels which brings about the discharge of greenhouse gases. Five, it is due to people looking for houses, food, and materials. Six, the number of inha inhabitants on the planet is arriving at unsustainable levels. Seven, it is credited to contamination brought about by CFCs. Eight, its major cause is habitat destruction. 9. Extraction of minerals bring out harmful chemicals from deep inside the earth to the earth's surface. And number 10. It is brought about because of the use of fossil fuels or volcanoes which discharge sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide into the air. Independent Assessment 2. Read the statements below. Write agree if the ideas are correct. Write disagree if the ideas are false. 1. You can begin promoting environmental awareness in your community immediately. 2. Learn about the matters affecting other communities before your own to, to have a deep understanding of environmental problems and issues. 3. If you have already informed yourself, it is much easier to discuss to others about the environment. 4. There are limited resources available to stimulate environmental awareness and education. 5. To guarantee your continuous involvement in environmental advocacy, try selecting one issue to concentrate on at a time. 6. Involve family, friends, and community in your environmental advocacy. Explain the issue's urgency and significance. Number 7. You may find chances to contribute to joint projects by involving your community in your environmental advocacy. 8. It is better to ride a jeepney or a tricycle than walking or riding a bike when going somewhere nearby. 9. Recycle at home to lessen our waste production. And 10. Advocating environmental awareness is a critical part of being an environmental steward. Independent Activity 3, You Puzzle Me. Complete the crossword puzzle below about the steps in developing an environmental advocacy campaign. Use the clues below. Down, number one, it keeps environmental advocacy campaigns on track to meet their objectives. Four, this is the aim of environmental advocacy. Across, number two, sending out an online petition is one example. Three, it is what attracts people to join an environmental advocacy campaign. And five, they collaborate and embody all the demands of an environmental advocacy campaign. Independent Assessment 3, Step on it. Explain each step in developing an environmental advocacy campaign. Number one, set a goal. Two, define your message clearly. Three, create a team. 4. Lay out a timeline. and 5. Develop your communications and activities. Independent Assessment 3 will be graded based on this rubric. The perfect score is 10 if you have provided exemplary answers with complete supporting explanation. What I have learned. Did you learn a lot from this module? 
If that is so, complete the following statements. Number one, I learned that advocacy is... Two, we can start correcting the problems that endanger our physical environment by first educating our... Three, to guarantee my continuous involvement in any environmental advocacy, I must... Four, some of the most important environmental concerns that I must keep an eye on today are... And five, the five basic steps in developing any environmental advocacy campaign are... What I can do. A situation is given below, read it with understanding, then be ready to answer the questions that follow. You notice that the irrigation system in your town is getting more and more polluted. Piles of trash are thrown into it by some irresponsible members of the community. Plastic garbage is always seen floating in the water. During the typhoon season, you witness the clogged irrigation system flooding nearby streets and houses. As a student of environmental science, you want to put a stop to this incident. What can you do to make a change? Select one from the list of suggested advocacy campaigns below. A. Educate people at the school about water pollution in the irrigation system. B. Contact and encourage an elected official to fight against water pollution in the irrigation system. C. Volunteer to help fight water pollution in the irrigation system in the barangay level. D. Educate the larger community about water pollution in the irrigation system. Or E. Hold a rally in the town plaza about water pollution in the irrigation system. Question number one, what advocacy campaign did you choose? What made you choose it? Two, using the five steps, develop your environmental advocacy campaign to fight water pollution in the irrigation system. For each step, list down the things that you can do to make it possible. So this will be the rubric for grading what I can do. The criteria are content, unique idea, and overall effort. The perfect score for each criteria is 5 points. Content should be completely and effectively included all of the steps in developing an environmental advocacy campaign, 5 points. Unique idea, very clever and well thought out, 5 points. Overall effort, took a lot of effort to develop, 5 points. Assessment, choose the letter of the best answer, write your answer on your answer sheet, see pages 18 to 19 of quarter 3, module 7. Additional activity, performance task number 3.7. Education is basically one of the most essential ways to advocate for change. Unless people are educated about a problem, there is no way to summon others to make a difference. An easy way to educate people about environmental problems is to show visuals, such as slogans. So for performance task number 3.7, choose an environmental problem or issue that you wish to make people aware of. In a short bond paper, create a slogan that shows advocacy in solving your chosen problem or issue. For performance test number 3.7, this will be the rubrics for grading. Criteria, content, organization, word choice, punctuation and grammar, creativity, and appearance. The perfect score for this activity is 20 points. For quarter 3, module 7, advocacy in solving environmental problems and issues, you need to have the following on your answer sheet. What I know... What's more, answer independent activities 1 to 3, independent assessments 1 to 3, what I have learned, what I can do, assessment, and additional activity. The additional activity will also be your performance task number 3.7. Upload your answer sheets in your Google Drive folder, the path, Environmental Science, Quarter 3, Module 7. Review Module 7 for Summative Test Number 4, answer the test via Google Forms, the link to be sent after Module 7 discussion. Thank you for attending our Environmental Science Online class. God bless you all.